Well, it's been a supersized election spanning 11 time zones across 17 million square kilometres of territory. Vladimir Putin has secured a fourth term as the Russian president by a landslide margin. Pavel Grudinin from the Communist Party is finishing second. And in third, it's Vladimir Zhirinovsky from the Liberal Democratic Party. Well, before heading over to his HQ to address the crowd of supporters there, Vladimir Putin gave a speech at a concert, marking four years since Crimea's reunification with Russia. RT's Jacqueline Vuga was in the crowd. March 18th, of course, is an important day for a number of reasons here in Russia. Today, of course, is the presidential election, but it's also the anniversary of the reunification with Crimea. It was four years ago today that the treaty was signed, bringing Crimea back under the umbrella of the Russian Federation. And this concert was organized in comm commemoration of that, just a stone's throw from Red Square. Star after star came on stage and sang famous songs with everyone singing along and dancing. But of course, the main event was President Putin himself. He came out just after it was announced that he had officially won. And this is the first time he spoke after that announcement. The crowd was extremely excited to see him. And he, of course, came out unsurprisingly with a huge smile on his face. But he had a very good message for those who are here, talking about unifying Russia and uh, even coming together with those who may have voted for other candidates. He also talked about that the, the work that needs to be done going forward from now. And he also thanked everyone for coming out despite the cold tonight. But nobody really seemed to mind among the dancing, the singing, and drinking hot tea that's being sold around the square. And the square has been packed tonight. I can't see to both ends, but there are thousands of people packed in the square enjoying the concert. Well, following those celebrations, Putin headed, headed to his headquarters, where journalists were eager to ask him about the challenges he'll face in his next term. RT's Igor Zhdanov reports. Vladimir Putin has just made an appearance here at his headquarters and then held a short press conference. And uh, the first uh, question he was asked was about the Skripal case, about the poisoning of a former Russian double agent in uh, Great Britain. And uh, the blame for the poisoning is being widely pinned on Russia and even on Putin personally. Here's how Vladimir Putin responded to those allegations. The first thing that comes to my mind is that, had this been a military poison, the people affected would have died immediately. This is obvious. The second thing is that there are no such substances in Russia. We destroyed all our chemical weapons as monitored by international inspectors. And we did this first, unlike some of our partners, who promised to do the same, but didn't fulfill their promise. We are ready for cooperation. In general, I think anyone with common sense understands that it's nonsensical for Russia to do such a thing before the election and the World Cup. It's just crazy. Another announcement that came rather unexpected uh, from Vladimir Putin was uh, when he was asking a question whether or not he will be planning to run six years from now in the next presidential election. What Vladimir Putin did, he hinted that this could be his final term as the leader of Russia. At the moment, I'm not planning any constitutional changes. Do you think you will be in the presidential seat until 2030? Of course, if you change the constitution. I think what you're saying is laughable. I'm not going to stay there until I turn 100. He also talked about his cabinet uh, appointments, about the potential shifts in the Russian government. He said that all of those will be announced after the inauguration. In terms of voter turnout, the, these elections have been spectacular. Uh, not only the whole of uh, Russia voted uh, the, all, across all 11 time zones, uh, but also we've seen huge uh, queues of people abroad cast their vote, which they grabbed, of course. So a big turnout, not the largest in Russia, Russia's history, but certainly closer to the top mark. And right now, it doesn't look like there is a force that can stop Vladimir Putin from spending the next six years as Russia's president.